Hi there, Joe here with another quick Sony professional tech tip. This time we're talking about our side-by-side -side feature in our LMDA line of monitors. Side-by-side -side can be a super useful feature for a number of reasons. However, this is probably the feature that generates the most head scratching the first time you go to use it. Why? Because you go to hook up two cameras and see them in one monitor and suddenly it looks like this. One image is jumping around, there's a black line. One camera looks like it's freaking out. This is because any two signals that you want to compare need to be synced with one another so that they'll actually be in time. Think of wanting to see two cameras on one monitor like wanting to record two musicians at the same time. You'll need a conductor to cue them and make sure that they stay linked with each other so that everything's in concert. In video, we have a sync signal that's called Genlock, which is just like that conductor I mentioned. On the F55, I have a dedicated Genlock connector, which I can use to send Genlock into the camera. On my FS7, I need to have the XDCA FS7 back so that I have the physical connector on the camera. Now on the monitor side, we need to assign side-by-side -side to a function button. This is done in the user configuration menu. Then we need to go to the function button setting to select which function button to put the feature on. Once I have the F55 sending the signal and the FS7 set to receive the Genlock signal, you'll notice that my two signals are now in time with one another. This gets everyone the first time. So remember, if you've got more than two signals and you want to see them in one monitor or one place, you need to have those signals synced up. Now, there are also dedicated Genlock and sync boxes that can be purchased if you want more flexibility to sync multiple signals in a live switched environment. So I hope this helps you guys out in the field, and I'll see you next time.